Welcome back to 101 Sports. Julian Council now joins me to break down some college football rankings. Julian, we have the top 10 on our board right here in order, 1 through 5, 6 through 10. Which of these teams does not belong? You know what, Jake? I, this is a really tough question here, you know, because you look at these top five, honestly, looking at their schedule down the road, none of those teams are really going to have any issues. And A&M plays Alabama's week in top Louisville. I mean, they're going to be fine. Right. When I look at these two teams, LSU and Georgia, Georgia had a huge win this weekend against South Carolina and after that first weekend loss at Clemson. But it's going to be do or die for these teams basically every week. I mean, they play in two weeks. I see LSU, Georgia, the winner of that, or the loser of that is obviously going to drop out. Right. I think it's going to be LSU. I mean, LSU later on the road, they have A&M, they have Ole Miss, Alabama. They just have a tough schedule. And you know, I like the new offense they have. You know, Cam Cameron's not a coordinator down there. Zach Mettenberg is looking better. But I just see LSU is falling out. And then I hate to do this to Georgia because I don't, I don't really see them falling out. Right, and but, had a really good win this weekend against South Carolina. Oh, yeah, but I mean, just the schedule, I mean, look, I mean, they lose LSU, they're, mm -hmm. all, they're out, but they still have Florida. And even Auburn can trust them, and then the SC Championship game is going to be tough. I just, I'm going to have to take the dogs out right now. And then figuring out who was going to step in there for one minute. Right, yeah, there's a void now. So who do you see jumping into the top ten by the end of the season? I mean, this was tough, too, because Michigan had that huge win on Saturday night. Devin Gardner looking great against right. Notre Dame. But I, I see Michigan not really being able to do They have Ohio State, they have Northwestern. They're going to have a tough schedule going on like later on the season. And in South Carolina, that was a huge. Losing to Georgia really is tough on them. But they still play in the SEC. It's going to be tough for them. But the team I'm looking at is Oklahoma State. You know, J.W. Walsh at the starting quarterback position, he can do it with his arms and his leg, looking really good. It's going to be interesting to see how the program, you know, moves forward after, you know, NCAA investigation that's looming over him right now. Right. But, I mean, in the Big 12, it's all about offense and no team's really that good, and, like, and with no quarterback, because Casey Paul, how knows he's got hurt by TCU and Oklahoma State, and I have J.W. Walsh looking really well. they got every ranked team right now, Baylor, o o OU, and TCU all at home, and then the toughest road game is Texas. So I just don't see Oklahoma State losing anytime soon, or maybe not at all in the Big 12. Yeah, wow, that would be awesome to see them in there. I myself am a big Cowboys fan and Mike Gundy fan. I think he's great. Let's see if it all pans out, though. It'll be interesting to see. Coming up next on 101 Sports, our tennis experts rejoin Ryan at the desk to look back on an unbelievably entertaining U.S. Open. Don't go anywhere.